and waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more d pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, uh, no, If he has videos and or his associates have videos and they are attempting to distribute those of young male children or female children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm -hmm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that. And now that this video is out, I would imagine that some of his alleged may feel more comfortable and more empowered in coming forward. I think she's hey, the girl cats. <sighs> okay. A girl went to court and charged her with extreme witchcraft. In a shocking revelation, FBI agents have unearthed damning footage that could change everything we know about Jay-Z. Today, we delve into this explosive discovery, uncovering a side of the rapper that few have seen before. From his rise in the music industry to the controversies that followed, this footage provides unprecedented insight into Jay-Z's alleged crimes. Will Jay-Z's wrongdoings over the years finally surface? Let's find out. But of course, before we go any further, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Diddy's in a big mess he can't wiggle out of. And even experts agree. Former FBI agent Tracy Walder isn't surprised by the surveillance video. She hopes it encourages more of Diddy's victims to come forward now that there's proof of his crimes. Federal authorities just revealed a private video involving Jay-Z and Beyonce, allegedly from a wild party at Diddy's. During a Homeland Security raid on Diddy's places, they found compromising footage of several celebrities in scandalous situations. But new sources are claiming that among the incriminating footage is evidence that can be used against Jay-Z. Was, was only it in my life. Both of them were with Mr. Carter. Carter is worse. Uh -oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Jay committed the ultimate betrayal. I had so much trust in my, my brother, but he did things that I thought he would never do. Rumors suggest Diddy leaked the footage to get back at the Carters for not supporting him during his legal battles. It seems he's determined to embarrass them no matter the consequences. But it's not just Diddy in trouble. Jay-Z and Beyonce are also tangled up in this mess. And it looks like Hollywood's elite are in for a rough ride. According to ex-FBI Special Agent Ted Gunderson, the world's most powerful people use underground tunnels for disturbing rituals like exploitation and maltreatment. Jay-Z and Diddy are named as top perpetrators, likely because of their close friendship and apparent involvement in each other's crimes. Jay-Z has been seen multiple times at Diddy's wild parties, often as an active participant. Jaguar Wright claims that if people think Diddy's actions are bad, they're not ready for Jay-Z's alleged crimes to be exposed. They're supposedly far worse. Jaguar is revealing details from leaked footage at Diddy's place, offering a glimpse into what really happens there. We've all heard about Diddy's legendary parties, but this takes it to another level. This we've been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. The internet is abuzz with news of an investigation into Diddy's home due to legal issues. Diddy started 2023 strong, rocking the stage at the MTV VMAs, dropping a hit R&B album, and rumors even swirled about him buying the BET network. But then, things took a nosedive. He faced numerous lawsuits accusing him of serious offenses. This sudden shift from success to legal turmoil has undoubtedly cast a shadow over his career. Diddy and Jay-Z have been seen behaving inappropriately in private, and if you observe how they interact, the idea that they could be involved in running an illegal S-ring from Jay-Z's private island doesn't seem so far-fetched. But after the raids on Diddy's homes, Jay-Z is nowhere to be seen. The rapper hasn't shown any support for his longtime friend, and 50 Cent isn't holding back in calling out his questionable actions. Even Diddy's former bodyguard Gene Deal suggests that both Jay-Z and Puff were informants for the FBI. Allegedly, they played a role in getting Suge Knight arrested. It's not widely known, but Puff has been evading the law for years. Reports claim he worked as an informant providing information to the FBI in exchange for leniency. This could explain why he seemed to get away with so much 
as claimed in a producer's lawsuit against him. Diddy's former bodyguard tonight alleging that Diddy was working for the FBI as a confidential informant. While cozying up to the Hollywood figures like Harvey, Deal has gone on record multiple times about Diddy's ties to the FBI. Will he go so far as to use these connections against his friend Jay-Z to protect himself? Hold on, let me consult my magic eight ball. It says yes, without a doubt. People don't realize this, brother. First and foremost, Puff has been dodging the legal system for years. Puff being, um, and this is documented, Puff being a CI for an FBI agent. They was taking some papers up to the to the uh, uh, FBI, still like when they was here in New York. They was taking paperwork up there and stuff like that. Don't know what it was, but later on found out that he was a CI. Additionally, Phil Carson, a retired FBI agent involved in the notorious B.I.G. case, has hinted at a connection between the accusations against Diddy and information that played a role in solving Tupac Shakur's assassination. Now that Jay-Z seems to have abandoned everything, there's speculation that Diddy might cooperate with the feds and turn on Jay-Z to protect himself. It could be the first time he's ever tried to save his own skin, right? Diddy has influential friends in high places like Mayor Eric Adams, who performed a rap in New York City in September 2023. Does the man ever take a break? Anyway, he's got plenty of power and influence. Rumors say Beyonce is laying low with the kids as Diddy's legal troubles pile up, and there's talk that Jay-Z could be next in the spotlight. So Queen B gave Jay the impression she'd stand by him through thick and thin, even after surviving multiple affairs. But now, it seems she's had to distance herself as Jay faces possible prison time over alleged exploitation involvement with his friend Diddy. Reports suggest Beyonce is protecting her brand by separating assets from Jay, with rumors swirling that she quietly filed for divorce in June. Both Beyonce and Jay were aware of Diddy's alleged misconduct, potentially making them accessories to the crimes. Speculation online even hints they might have deeper ties to illicit substances. Beyonce herself could face scrutiny amid allegations that, that she may have been involved in controversial actions, including possibly influencing Jay's alleged mistress, Kathy White. That's why Beyonce keeps dropping albums and going on tours. She's trying to make money before the legal troubles hit. And honestly, can you blame her? With things looking tough for Jay-Z, she's focusing on herself and her kids. Diddy's not going to be able to make his way out of the major mess that he's created for himself, and even the experts seem to think so too. Before people speculated about Beyonce's rumored ties to the Illuminati and dark activities, even crimes, now more sources, including Kanye West and others close to her, are starting to reveal details. When someone consistently benefits from the tragedies and shocking accusations, including talk of extreme acts, can it all just be dismissed? Are Beyonce and Jay-Z really involved in these incidents? Could this be the start of their downfall? With new info coming to light and figures like Kanye backing it up, let's dig into this mystery and find out the truth. Kanye West has been in the spotlight recently for a series of controversies, including alleging that his ex-wife is now involved with Chris Paul and making anti-Semitic remarks, resulting in several companies cutting ties with him. Despite facing criticism, Kanye remains unapologetically vocal. Most recently, he has turned his attention toward Beyonce and Jay-Z with serious accusations. Among these is a particularly jarring claim involving human sacrifice, which has sparked widespread attention. The intensity of such an allegation cannot be ignored. Can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not not you, man. But they can't control me. To understand what's going on with Kanye, let's look at his story and check if these rumors hold up. Kanye has been saying controversial things about Beyonce and Jay-Z in public. It's easy to blame him, but that's not the best way to approach this. Back in 2016 during a show, Kanye accused Beyonce of buying awards. He claimed that the award she got should have been his and said Beyonce threatened not to perform unless she won. Kanye felt hurt, saying, Beyonce, I was hurt. I went down seven years. His complaints didn't stop there. He also said he's no longer friends with them and accused Jay-Z of not caring about him, especially after Kim Kardashian, Kanye's ex-wife, 
was robbed in Paris. What's striking is how openly Kanye shares these accusations with his fans. Usually such things stay private, but Kanye has chosen to talk about them publicly. Some think Kanye feels rejected by Beyonce and Jay-Z, while others say he's just trying to stay important. The second idea seems believable because the couple hasn't responded to him. Recently, Kanye went further by claiming Beyonce and Jay-Z are involved in Hollywood's human sacrifices. This strong statement has made people rethink what he's saying, especially after Aaliyah's tragic passing under mysterious circumstances. Aaliyah, who was adored in New York City and across the country, she was a rising pop star and actress nominated for a Grammy, but her sudden passing at 22 shocked everyone. Kanye's bold accusations have definitely grabbed public attention, but there's more going on here than just his daring words. Like Aaliyah was like the sacrificial lamb for all that. 22-year-old rising star Aaliyah has been killed in a horrific plane crash. Now, with Kanye's recent comments, many are looking back at what Kimberly Thompson, Beyonce's former dancer, said years ago when she accused the singer of maltreating her. Fans are starting to wonder if there might be some truth to her accusations and if the couple is hiding something from their fans. Kimberly even tried to get a restraining order from Queen Bee, asking for protection from what she saw as Beyonce's overwhelming influence. But the judge turned down her request because there wasn't enough proof that the famous singer posed a threat to her, leaving her without legal protection. Many people, especially Beyonce's fans, didn't believe her claims and fiercely defended their idol. In his interview, Kanye mentioned several celebrities he said were involved in these activities and talked about others who allegedly lost their lives because of it. He's insisted he's never harmed anyone in his career, which he believes lets him speak freely without fear. I'm the one who never hurt nobody, right? So I can say whatever I want and not get in trouble, he said. Kanye suggested that the group can control artists who work with them, like Beyonce and Jay-Z, but they can't control him. Although he didn't say it directly, Kanye hinted that the artists he named had taken lives and made sacrifices to become famous. But his former partner, Dame Dash, won't stay silent. Aaliyah is key to everything. Aaliyah and I were very serious. We talked about getting married, so... I know exactly what went on. Did Kanye get criticized this time? Definitely. Beyonce's fans were furious with him, saying it was best for Beyonce and Jay-Z to stay away from him. But some people felt for Kanye and thought about different sides of Beyonce. Backing up Kanye's claims is a message from Jay-Z and Beyonce's trainer, Harley Pasternak. They hired him to set up their home gym. Kanye showed a screenshot of a text from Harley that said, I'm willing to help you in two ways. We can talk honestly and calmly, focusing on facts, rather than rumors from your friends or social media. Or I can have you put away again, where you'll be heavily medicated and out of it forever, which would change how you are with your kids. The message Harley sent Kanye seemed like a threat, making more people believe Kanye's claims. Some say Harley wouldn't dare send such a message without backing. But the most worrying part is what Harley said about Kanye going back to a mental health facility. It suggests he might have a role in Kanye's past struggles with mental health. People are guessing about this, some think Harley might be working for Beyonce and Jay-Z, doing things they don't want to do themselves. This idea seems possible because of Harley's background. Before he worked in fitness, he was in the military and knew a lot about how to influence people's thoughts and actions. Harley's threat and military past have made a lot of people wonder about Beyonce and Jay-Z's part in what's going on with Kanye. This attention isn't good news for the couple. Given Harley's close ties to Beyonce and Jay-Z, it's possible he knows things that happen behind the scenes. As these details come together, it's harder for Beyonce and Jay-Z to ignore Kanye's accusations. People are starting to wonder why they're often in the middle of Hollywood controversies, which makes Kanye's claim seem serious. And Harley's scary threat makes the situation even more complicated, suggesting it could drag on for Kanye, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. Jay-Z has been linked to other troubling situations, like his past with R. Kelly, R. Kelly's relationship with singer Aaliyah, when she was only 15 is well known. Reportedly, R. Kelly used his influence to get fake paperwork saying she was 18 so they could marry. They annulled the marriage when her real age came out. Surprisingly, Jay-Z pursued Aaliyah after his time with R. Kelly. Listen to R. Kelly. At that time? Yeah. I'm sure I did. Knowing that he was, had a year old as a grown listen, man? I mean, are you kidding me? The stuff that we heard with Michael Jackson, everybody's trying to verify that, that, and say, is that question. even possible? Well, the reason why I'm asking you this is so yeah. you know the DNA and the problems I have to deal with. Even though a smart man like yourself knows something is wrong, you're still going to do it, you don't, but you it don't, anyway. But you don't know something's wrong. So Beyonce was on her way to stardom when she crossed paths with Jay-Z at a critical time. 
She had just left Destiny's Child to start her solo career and was gaining fame in music. Meanwhile, Aaliyah was already a well-known figure, making her mark in the industry. But when Aaliyah tragically passed away, it left a gap at the top that some believe Beyonce seamlessly filled. The details of Aaliyah's fatal plane crash raised suspicions, especially since she was headed to film a music video in the Bahamas instead of Florida as planned. People started to wonder if something fishy happened, especially with reports suggesting Aaliyah was hesitant to board the plane and might have been given sleeping pills to convince her. In entertainment circles, there were ongoing suspicions about what really went down, with stars like Mary J. Blige publicly questioning the events and even pointing fingers at Jay-Z in the whole affair. You know, these accusations against Jay-Z aren't new. Whenever Jay's name gets mixed up in not-so-great talk, Kanye's always there to share his thoughts. He's been hinting that Jay's rise in the industry and all those Grammy wins happened suspiciously fast after he got with Beyonce. The suggestion is that Beyonce's influence, maybe even using her image or connections, was like currency with the big shots in music. Remember Jay-Z's Grammy journey? It started in 98 with his first win for Best Rap Album. Then, there was a quiet period, until he got another win with Crazy in Love, a song he did with Beyonce. And now, Jay's sitting pretty with 23 Grammys, but industry watchers think there's something tricky going on behind the scenes of his success. Now, there are a lot of accusations swirling around Diddy, and some reports suggest he might be connected to his wife Kim Porter's passing. The story around Kim's passing has taken a dark turn. Kim's best friend, Kimora Lee Simmons, wants the investigation into her friend's demise reopened. Kimora is convinced something isn't right, and she can't ignore it. It seems like she might have some suspicions about what really happened to Kim. Kimora Lee hurried to Kim's house as soon as she heard the news, and the pictures show how devastated she was. Seeing her friend's lifeless body was incredibly tough for her. There were no signs that Kim was sick, so Kimora is questioning what actually caused her demise. Now, with new information surfacing, it seems like Kim's demise from pneumonia might not be the whole story. People are suspicious, especially since the coroner who was investigating the case passed away just a few weeks into the investigation. This was the same coroner who found a possibly dangerous poison while looking into Kim Porter's demise. They have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. The coroner originally said Kim's passing needed more investigation, but he was replaced by another coroner. It took the new coroner a long time to determine Kim passed away from pneumonia. But here's where things get suspicious. The new coroner never mentioned the toxins found in Kim's body. Did someone tell him to keep quiet? There are also reports saying Kim and Diddy were having problems in the days before her demise. That's why people are speculating about Diddy's potential involvement in this dark situation. Diddy is facing serious consequences now. According to Rolling Stone, 18 companies have ended their partnerships with Diddy's online store, Empower Global. The Source magazine reports his clothing brand, Sean John, is being phased out and won't be sold in Macy's stores in 2024. But who's on top of Diddy? Recent reports suggest it might be none other than the power couple themselves. Many sources claim Jay-Z and Beyonce could be involved in these incidents. Yeah, there are reports suggesting Diddy might have even had a hand in the demise of Jay-Z's alleged mistress, Kathy White. Isn't it strange how there's hardly any information about Jay-Z's supposed side chick, Kathy White, who reportedly passed away under suspicious circumstances in 2011? Now, journalist Liz Cronkin is stirring things up, claiming she spoke with Kathy before she passed away. Liz is dropping hints, suggesting Jay-Z might be in trouble. And to add more drama, old blog posts are resurfacing with people saying they saw Kathy hanging out with Jay-Z and Diddy. With all this controversy around Diddy, fans are starting to wonder if Jay-Z could be next in line for serious trouble. Even as Beyonce soared to fame worldwide with a huge following, some say Aaliyah's exit could have been a move to cut down competition. Aaliyah's unique style still inspires female artists today, and some think Beyonce might have admired her deep down and even wanted to emulate her. Among the different theories swirling around, there's a growing call for justice for Aaliyah. Fans are adamant that the case needs reopening, pushing for those thought to be involved to face consequences. The troubling notion that a beloved star's passing could be tied to something darker fuels a widespread demand for answers and fairness. But what's your perspective on all of this? Let us know what you think by leaving your comments below. That's all for today, folks. If you want to keep yourself updated on the latest binge-worthy celebrity gossip, click that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this.